Ukraine is cornering Russians in drone war. The situation is getting worse for Russian army. The Ukrainian army is likely surpassing Russia in the number of drones, according to the commander of the unmanned systems forces, Vadim Sukarevsky. Just in the first two quarters of this year, we have delivered six times more drones to the troops than in the entire last year. This is a joint victory of both the General Staff and the Ministry of Defense, said Sukarevsky. According to him, Ukraine is superior in drone production as it has a significant variety of maneuverable drones. We have over 165 different types of developments that are being tested and used on the battlefield. In terms of the number of drones, we are not losing and we may even be winning, he emphasized. At the beginning of June, the Ministry of Defense announced the creation of a new branch of the armed forces of Ukraine, the Unmanned Systems Forces. Colonel Vadim Sukarevsky was appointed as the commander. Since the beginning of this year, drone production in Ukraine has significantly increased. This year, the plan is to produce and deliver 1 million FPV drones to the Ukrainian armed forces. The Russian-Ukrainian war has taken combat drones to a new level, especially FPV drones, which effectively target enemy personnel and equipment, far surpassing the cost of such UAVs. FPV drones with video transmission function through a camera on the UAV itself stand out in speed, precision and control methods compared to other drones. Operators maneuver them using a controller and goggles providing a first-person view. While FPV drones are used for entertainment, panoramic video shooting and live event streaming in civilian life, they're capable of carrying payloads, being agile and changing direction swiftly with some models reaching speeds of over 100 kilometers an hour. In the Russian-Ukrainian war, FPV drones refer to high-speed quadcopters used for reconnaissance, observation, delivering ammunition, and even functioning as kamikazes attaching a combat payload. In skilled hands, they become highly precise weaponry. Ukrainian forces actively utilize FPV drones across various divisions since the initial phase of the full-scale invasion. Armed Forces, Security Service of Ukraine, Border Guards, National Guard, and Defense Intelligence Operatives, among others. In the Perm region, Fighters of Freedom of Russia Legion burned several pieces of military equipment at the airfield of the Russian Defense Ministry. While Ukrainian drones and artillery destroy equipment on the battlefield, Free Russian Legion acted and burned several pieces of military equipment of Russia. Recall, a trio of Russian volunteer groups fighting on behalf of Ukraine. One of them is Freedom of Russia Legion. Three armed groups, the Freedom of Russia Legion, Russian Volunteer Corps and Siberian Battalion, launched a cross-border assault from Ukraine into Russia in this march. Moscow calls them Ukrainian terrorist formations. None of the anti-Kremlin Russian militias will offer actual numbers of men fighting under their colors on grounds of wartime secrecy. They would also fall foul of Ukrainian military rules if they did so, and as formally enlisted soldiers in Ukraine's International Legion they're required to abide by the rules governing classified information. The raids have earned the Freedom of Russia Legion the hatred of their foes. The Freedom of Russia Legion is being hunted by the Russian military, which is keen to identify the militia's bases and in order to reduce the chances of being directed by missiles or drones, Freedom of Russia Legion units are dispersed when on Ukrainian soil, only coming together for big raids. The families of Freedom of Russia Legion members who are still in Russia are harassed and threatened by the FSB intelligence agency to try to extract information from them. And a new Russian law allows authorities to expropriate the property of anyone declared terrorists, a designation that would include Freedom of Russia Legion members.